Okay, so the the voting for the Sunday Swap ISO is finally over. It was a long, painful five days of shilling and promoting and selfless begging, I guess, to get people to vote for the various state pools. A um, couple of funny things happened, but you know, it, it's all over now and we're in a better place, I think. Um, it was quite a hectic uh, five days. I know some people hadn't uh, slept much for uh, 10 days and more uh, leading up to this. But the unofficial results are in and we have pool.pm slash Sunday is where you can see the unofficial results. So Smog from the Pool PM has built this little tool that was counting all the votes that came in on all of the state pools. So all of those transactions that were coming in and, and uh, voting for all these state pools, you can see all the results here from number one to 30 there, we can see all the state pools that did make it through to the top 30. And then we have another 10 state pools that made it to the waiting list and you can see us there as well. So thank you so much for everyone that voted for us. It was quite a, quite a experience going through all that and getting that momentum. And thank you for everyone else that actually helped us out um, to get those votes up. So um, I, I know exactly who you are. Don't worry, I won't forget. I owe you many, many favors. Um, but there are many, uh, many questions that are coming out of it now. So a lot of people are so eager to get these free Sunday tokens from the ISO, the initial state pool offering. So this is what you need to do now. So these are the FAQs. So uh, the official results, you can get to that at pool.pm slash Sunday. Now when to delegate to get the Sunday tokens, you can't get them yet. The official announcements haven't happened yet. We don't know if this list here is the official list uh, of what the pools are going to be. So we have to wait till the Sunday swap team actually get uh, a, a written response and actually publish that out. So we're waiting for that to happen. Uh, you can start l probably looking at some of these state pools that are in that top 30 or top 40 even and engage with them, see what they're like, see what the returns are like because when we're staking for our rewards, we're also getting ADA returns. So we're looking for pools that are performing well and giving good returns there as well as your Sunday swap tokens. Now the performance of the pool does not affect the amount of Sunday tokens that you get. The amount of Sunday tokens is directly proportionate to the amount of ADA that is in your wallet. So if you have a lot of ADA in your wallet, you'll get more Sunday swap tokens. There is however a bonding curve, not a bonding curve, but a distribution curve that will limit the amount of of Sunday tokens if you're a whale. So if you're a really large bag holder and you're holding a lot of Sunday tokens, not Sunday tokens, a lot of ADA, you won't get that many Sunday tokens. So there's a limit there. So you may want to split your wallets if you are a very large holder. But uh, there's a couple of other things that we need to look at here. So when will this happen? We don't know yet. Um, it will, when the DEX launches and the ISO will take place at the same time, the DEX will launch when there are a few more things that fall into place. Uh, the Plutus application backend is one that is needed, the PAB. Now I know that the Sunday Swap team have built their own proprietary version of the PAB which helps them deploy and get their stuff ready. That's why you've seen all these demo videos of the Sunday Swap team actually building, not building, but interacting with their decks and doing swaps on testnet. So they've already done that, but they've also mentioned that they need multiple wallets out. So not just one wallet, so NAMI wallet's probably the most popular one at the moment because we can actually use it, but also the Uroi version of it. So the Uroi DAP connector, and that is waiting for the PAB. So when that launches, we'll have more multiple options for using, using uh, different options wallets so that we can actually connect with the decks that will be appearing on the Sunday Swap website. So that's what we're waiting for at the moment. So we don't know when that's gonna happen. They say maybe early December. I'm hoping that it's gonna happen after the MELD, MELD um, ISPO ends. And that's around the 6th or the 8th of December. I can't remember the date exactly. It's somewhere around then. Now, uh, how much Sunday is being distributed? It's 1% of the total public allocation. I think it's uh, about 10 million, 20 million. Yep, it's 20 million uh, Sunday swap tokens per epoch. And it's 100 million overall. Uh, so it's 5% in total of all of the um, uh, public allocation of the, of the token. So that's what we're looking at. Now, what is that in proportion to in terms of your ADA? 
Well, it really depends on how many people are staking. So if, if you have uh, 100,000 uh, staking, then that would be divided by that, um, that 20, 20 million uh, Sunday swap tokens, and that would be distributed amongst them evenly in proportion to how much ADA they have. So it really depends on how many people actually jump in and get these, these uh, tokens in each epoch. Now, what wallets can you use for staking for these reward, rewards? You can use any of the Cardano native wallets. So you can use Roy, you can use Daedalus, CC Wallet, Ada Lite. There are so many more out there. As long as they, as long as they have native token support, so if you're already collecting NFTs and it's in there, that wallet is totally fine. You can use that, you can stake with it and accept and get those Sunday swap tokens. Now, it's probably really important to also note that when the DEX launches, you need to use a Web3 wallet. So Web3 wallets such as Uroi or even Nami. So one of those two, they'll be able to actually connect to the website itself so that you can swap your Sunday swap tokens for your ADA if you want, or you can provide liquidity to the actual pools of the DEX. So you need to familiarize yourself with the NAMI wallet or the Uroi uh, DAP connector. And if you're using ErgoDEX, which seems to be the very first one that uh, has launched. So yeah, it's actually launched. If you really want to get into and understand how the Uroi wallet is working, you can go on here, you can follow the links, you can connect your wallet here, you can choose your Roy, and it will actually take you through the installation process. I won't go through it now, but you can go through the installation process and install the Uroi nightly build so that you can get a feeling of how the Uroi wallet will work. So go through that, have a look at it, and you can see exactly what is going on there. So what can you possibly swap at launch? You'll be able to swap the main pair, Ada and Sunday. So they're the, that's the main pair that's gonna be launched on the DEX and you'll be able to access that through uh, the app as well. So that's, that's gonna be launching, launching with it. So what can you do now? You can probably just sit back and relax, go through and have a look at all those pools that were uh, in that list, in that top 40 list, see what's going on there subscribe to the Twitter notifications of the Sunday Swap team. They'll be doing a lot of uh, tweeting, I, I suspect, over the next few days, and check out those results. So get, get started there. If your wallet, if your ADA is on an exchange at the moment, I suggest setting up a wallet at the moment, getting to know that environment, getting to know Daedalus, Uroi, whatever you might be using, and get that ADA off that exchange at this point in time. Uh, look for a stake pool. Uh, look for one that would be uh, probably supplying uh, the rewards. Or if you're looking for a stake pool like us, Ada Oz, please check us out. The links are down below in the description. So please check that out. So that's it. That's my update for this particular video and I'll catch you next time.